My name is Michael Keating. I'm the director of the Opportunity and Crisis Project at Chatham House, which is looking at the political future of Afghanistan. And I'm delighted to be with Ambassador Francesca Vendrell, who is a visiting professor at John Hopkins University. He was the special representative first for the European Union and then for the United Nations to Afghanistan. Welcome, Francesca, and thank you so much for agreeing to talk to us today. Thank you. Um, does Afghanistan matter anymore? I mean, there are so many other things going on in the world, the Middle East, Ukraine. It seems to have become slightly peripheral. To the extent that um, governments can only focus on one or two crises at one time, it has become somewhat peripheral. But that doesn't mean that it is peripheral. Um, uh, the, the same reasons why the UN so, and the international community intervene in Afghanistan after 2001 are valid today. So we would make a huge mistake if we wrote off Afghanistan in the way that we wrote it off in the early 90s with all the consequences that we, we know. And how important is a peace process to the future of Afghanistan? They require a political solution. There is no military solution to the, um, to the intensified call it civil war insurgency, you need eventually a political one. And that means talking to the enemy or talking to the opponent. And what do you think uh, the obstacles to getting a peace process going are at the moment? In, in due course, to start talks with the Taliban, because you will have eventually, you will need a consensus within this unity government about how, when to talk to the Taliban, on what basis, and how and set up a procedure to carry this out. But it may take some time. So the obstacle is no longer whether to talk to the Taliban, it's more how to go about it. We are assuming that the Taliban may want to talk. Uh, I think that this may well be true, but I suspect that it is not a priority for the Taliban or indeed for the, Af the future Afghan government to start by talking to each other and establishing a peace process. I suspect that there will be an effort by both sides, but particularly by the Taliban, to see how far they can go militarily over the next couple of years, given the fact that most of the NATO forces will be gone. And do you think the government would hope to try and do the same? Prevail militarily, or are its priorities, does it have other priorities as well? Neither the Taliban nor the government will achieve the kind of military success that would make political thoughts unnecessary. Do you think uh, a peace process can be uh, managed and run by the Afghans, or is, this, is there a role for the international community? Uh, um, it is going to be necessary to have some outside assistance, uh, some kind of um, good offices, or at least uh, someone who facilitates a dialogue, both between the Afghans, or amongst the Afghans, but also with the neighboring countries. Do you think the UN is the obvious candidate for that role, or is that uh, presumptuous? Sooner or later, uh, the role of the UN, in particular of the Secretary General, will be required to set in motion, or at least to, uh, if not set in motion, certainly to uh, push the, the process forward, because no solution in Afghanistan is possible without the acceptance of this solution, uh, this settlement, by the neighboring countries. Do you think there are lessons to be learned from the experience of trying to get a peace process off the ground in Afghanistan, or indeed elsewhere, that need to be hauled aboard uh, in trying to move things forward? I was involved in talks with the Taliban during the period 2000-2002 on behalf of the UN. Uh, at that time, it was relatively easier to talk to the Taliban because they were in power. Uh, now they are uh, a, a guerrilla group, and I suspect that they are less united than they were in the, at that point in time. But I do think, from the experience of the past, that it is possible to develop uh, um, a dialogue with uh, the Taliban. And are you optimistic or pessimistic at this uh, juncture um, about things moving forward uh, in terms of a process? My feeling is that uh, a couple of fighting seasons may have to go by 
before, for example, the Taliban uh, seriously starts talking to the government. And it may take a little time too for the government to get its act together. There are other issues that they have to cope with, particularly the economy, uh, particularly corruption and governance. And so uh, it may take some time. But what is essential is that uh, in the international community should keep uh, following the process and not forgetting that whatever happens in Afghanistan will have a major impact in the whole region. And it's particularly worrisome that levels of violence at the moment and insecurity are going up. We have all kinds of peripheral actors. Uh, we have all kinds of militias who are acted on their own. And so it is a messier situation than it would have been if uh, there had been a process started in, let's say, 2006. Uh, and this would now be almost over.